Hello, today I'm going to be looking at the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition camera for the first part of a series about action cameras. Adorama TV presents Capture the Action with Martin Dory. Hello, I'm Martin Dory and you are watching Adorama TV. I'm a writer and I've been using my Hero 3 to record a lot of my assignments and adventures over the last year. So before we crack open the packaging and take a look at this great camera, let's have a look at some of them. In this series, we're going to be starting with the basics and then working our way up to talking about mounts and accessories, cutting with the GoPro software and making our own films. I'm also going to show you how to make it as easy as possible to use this camera. But first, let's get into this box. Check out Adorama's latest contest here for great prizes. If you're completely new to GoPro, then you may have no idea what this stuff is. I'll explain it quickly now, but we will go through it in later episodes. The GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition camera comes in a waterproof housing with two quick release buckles, a Wi-Fi remote which enables you to control your camera and up to 50 others remotely, a three-way mount, charging cables for the Wi-Fi remote and camera, a battery and one curved and one flat self-adhesive mount for mounting your camera on flat or curved surfaces. It also comes with a skeleton back for the housing so you can get sound from your shots. Right, first things first. The battery comes partially charged, but it is a good idea to charge it before you use it. You will also need to insert a micro SD card before you can begin to record anything. Open up the back, pop in the battery, open up the side, insert the SD card and charging cable and attach it to a USB charger or your PC. There is one thing you'll notice about your GoPro. It's got no viewfinder. So how are you gonna see what you're shooting? Well, the lens on this thing is about the equivalent to a 14 mil lens on a 35 mil camera, so it's super wide. And it pretty much means that if you point it at something, it's gonna be in shot. It also means that pretty much everything's gonna be in focus. But there's only one way really that you can guarantee that you've got everything you want in the shot and that you've managed to frame out everything that you don't want, and that's to get a live feed. So I would recommend downloading the GoPro app. It will give you a pretty much live feed from everything your camera sees and you'll be able to work your camera remotely. It also makes it a lot easier to manage. Your camera's only got three buttons. You've got your Wi-Fi on and off on the side there and you've got your shutter and select and your power and mode button. Now using these two buttons here is how you get access to all the functions. But when you use the GoPro app, you can actually see them all a lot more easily and it's a great way to get to know your camera. So to use the app, download it from the app store, turn on the Wi-Fi on your camera, connect and control, and you should be able to see what your camera sees and also control every function, like this. How cool is that? The app will let you change the camera modes, resolution, frame rate and aspect ratio. If you're in the UK, you can also use it to change the recording system from NTSC to PAL. The app will let you change the resolution, field of view, and time-lapse rate, as well as set your default settings, the date and time and sounds, and making a basic video recording. Your camera will have a default setting of 1080 resolution at 25 frames a second, which will give you a super wide view. To start recording, you can either press record on the top of the camera or on the app. The camera will beep once and away you go. Using the app, you can see whatever the camera sees. To stop recording, press the button again, it'll beep three times and then you'll know that recording stopped. When you're done, playing back the files is just as easy. Connect the camera to your PC or laptop and read the camera like an external hard drive. Then you play back the files using programs like QuickTime or VLC Media Player. The files are MP4, so Windows Media Player may not like them without a codec. Open the file with the program and watch it back. That's it, it's really simple, this one. Okay, that's it for now. Next time we'll be looking at taking stills and time lapses here in the studio. 
Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget to visit the Adorama Learning Centre for more tips and tricks. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. Just click on the link below. Also, please don't forget to like and share. And we'll see you next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.